It's been said that a mile of highway will take you one mile, but a mile of runway will take you anywhere. Stating one zero eight one five. Where will your passion for aviation take you? Today's aviation industry offers a wide range of amazing career opportunities. We are going to introduce you to three different people who all have the same passion for aviation, but have achieved very different career paths in the same industry of aviation. Meet Josiah. He's a state trooper and pilot for the Colorado State Patrol Aircraft Section, and he has turned his passions of law enforcement and aviation into his ideal dream job. I, I grew a passion for law enforcement um, along with my aviation passion, and uh, you know, what better thing than to be able to mix both of them and, and to be able to, to fly um, as well as a serve and protect. That's what makes this job so unique and, uh, and so enjoyable. I mean, flying, and you talk to most pilots, I mean, they just love the joy of flying, but to be able to add that element of you're, you're helping and you're serving and you don't know, you know, what the next call is, um, it's pretty cool. Like most with a passion for aviation, it starts very early in life. I got interested in aviation uh, when I was six years old. Uh, watching the Thunderbirds uh, fly the Air Force Academy graduation and I knew at that point in some way shape or form um, I wanted to be in aviation and I knew that someday some way I was gonna fly an airplane but it wasn't until I was in my early teens that I began to um, start to look and figure out what I needed to do to actually have a career in aviation. And that started with literally going to the local airport um, that I live near and uh, getting to know some of the pilots there, talking to them, and uh, I ended up working out that I was trading out flight time for cleaning their, their airplanes, um, sweeping out hangers, uh, mowing grass, uh, whatever it took uh, to get a to get an hour of flight time in my logbook and, uh, and that's that's how it began for me. I grew to enjoy the idea of law enforcement and, and going into law enforcement and uh, that was a primary reason of joining the Colorado State Patrol was they are uh, one of the few agencies in this state that have aviation and so uh, I knew that that's where I wanted to end up and uh, so I I pursued that, became a Colorado State Trooper, uh, spent uh, five years working on the road just learning to be a trooper, uh, which, is, which has really helped me to prepare for being able to support those guys on the ground from the air, and then had the privilege of being accepted and brought into the aviation unit uh, for the Colorado State Patrol, and uh, you know, here I am today. I, I love my job. I, I can't believe that uh, I get paid to do this. Ground port five at Charlie one. That request on one zero two eight for inspection. Port five, Centennial ground hold short runway one zero. Holding short one zero port five. If you have a deep passion for aviation and becoming a pilot really isn't your thing, the aviation and aerospace industry is full of different exciting careers that don't require a set of wings. My name's Jeremy Gunn, and I'm an airport operations specialist here at Centennial Airport. Jeremy's passion for flight not only guided him into a career in aviation, his passion led him nearly 9,000 miles to Colorado, all the way from Australia. I'd finished my pilot training uh, back in Tasmania, Australia, and I got my commercial license, and I was doing some further training, and I sort of had lost the fun in the flying. Jeremy's passion soon took him on a different journey, where he pursued an internship at Centennial Airport. 
Here, he learned the first-hand skills of how to operate a busy general aviation airport. And I came across Centennial Airport, and I went for a flight out of here just to get the experience of flying in America. And I was looking at their website, and that's where I saw their, their internship program. And I got back to Australia, and a few weeks later, I just bought a plane ticket and came right back. And the timing worked out, and I got, the, got, the, got into the program, and here I am. Your pretty much job is to keep the airport running day to day, keep everything running smoothly and safely. We coordinate the emergency response in the event of inbound aircraft emergencies or accidents, uh, any instance which involve um, outside aid. So you're the one that's the, the first one being called and you've got to coordinate, you're the central point of communication. Our other radio is our airport frequency and this where I can contact uh, Arapa County Sheriff's, South Metro Fire and Rescue, um, other staff members and also the tower call me on here if there's an aircraft uh, incident. And the good thing is you see so many different aspects of the airport and how it's run and what it takes to keep a you know busy airport as, as busy as this one running smoothly. That's something which definitely makes the job interesting is you get to, especially someone that likes aviation, which if you're doing this job you definitely would, you get to see the smallest of the aircraft that people train in, do aerobatics in, up to C-130 military giant four propeller aircraft. Um, we have F-18s, we have Gulf Streams. With the internship, being given that high level of responsibility and trust from the beginning, it allowed me to grow a lot faster and uh, you know learn all these new skills a lot quicker. So when I noticed Centennial Airport and it was a busy, um, diverse airport, I thought that could be really interesting to learn and go down that track. I didn't know exactly I was going to like it. I didn't know if it was going to be the perfect thing for me, but I gave it a go and you know got my interest and I'm sticking with it and seeing where it takes me. We live in a new age of aviation, where becoming a pilot doesn't necessarily mean you'll be flying a traditional aircraft. Becoming certified as an unmanned aerial system, or UAS pilot, is the next evolution of aviation. I'm Chris Wofford, and I'm a UAS pilot. I'm Director of Flight Operations for Alpha Pixel Digital uh, here in Evergreen, Colorado. We are an uh, aerial mapping, 3D modeling, and photography company uh, using small UAS to capture images and our data for clients from uh, fire, state patrol, to just your construction clients across the state. Uh, aviation has always been a part of my life growing up at the airport, but I think what really got me was when I did a flight up in Wyoming. Um, I was studying photography at the time and went up for a flight to do some photography and uh, fell in love and actually moved straight back to Denver and started up at Metro State University and started my degree in aviation. Right now what we have next to us is the Phantom 4. It's a uh, smaller of the UAS that we operate with um, and actually for where we operate up here in the mountains with very small areas this unit works best for us because we can get into the tighter areas. Well as a pilot myself I really treat the aircraft just as an aircraft that I'm going to be getting them to go fly. I still do my pre-flight checks. I, I do everything on the aircraft, make sure it is safe for flight. Obviously my number one objective anytime I fly this is the safety of people and property on the ground. For someone that really wants to get into aviation and, and wants to, whether it's UAS or manned aircraft, the science and math are, are still just critical aspects. Computers are really taking over and, and understanding the basics of how to use different software along with the mathematics and the, uh, the science that's behind it is, is key. With UAS, I feel like I'm back with the Wright Brothers. This is a whole new level of aviation. It's, it's a new industry and it's at the ground, grassroots of it. It, it all started with me wanting to be a pilot and while wanting to be a pilot and going through school I learned there's so many other options within aviation and so many different facets that it was just it fascinated me everything that you can do within aviation.